All right, so when you're growing sprouts at home with the jar-based method, this is what I found works the best. Jars, in my opinion, are the best because you have a larger volume and you don't have to pay for a silly contraption. I have spent hundreds of dollars on a wide variety of different sprouting machines and have found that, in effect, they suck. It's true. I don't, I don't want to offend anybody who produces them, but for me, I found that I had a high amount of spoilage as well as bacterial growth, and it wasn't the best option. I moved to using small jars, which you can do from home, and then I moved to using these big jars because I find that this is the best for creating a larger volume and it's easier to prevent contamination. All right, so here I have a comparison between these are mature, these are mature lentil sprouts, right? There's a lot of volume here. It didn't take much lentils to create this amount of sprouted volume. In fact, about half of this would have been used to create this proportion. Pretty remarkable. It's tripling, if not quadrupling, your volume of food, as well as multiplying your nutrient profile. So start with these seeds in a jar, and you'll end up with this. Pretty great. Here we have clover seeds that I soaked the night before. When you soak your seed, you want to soak it for about 12 hours. Now you'll see diagrams on the internet that suggest soak this seed for 8 hours, this seed for 6 hours, this seed for 12, da 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 da. It doesn't matter. I have found great success soaking most seeds overnight and draining the water in the morning. And that's the best way to start. Don't overwhelm yourself with different number sequences. Just start. Just begin. Don't panic. It's an easy process and it's fun. So, when you want to do it, you want to start with a base jar like this, pour the seed in, and away you go. This doesn't take a lot of seed to produce a full jar of sprouts. As you can see, there's very little seed here, yet once I soak this and sprout this, you'll get almost a full jar worth of sprouts. Next comes the water. You want to fill your seeds up. After you have water, you want a screen for that. This screen here is a mesh that you can buy for a ridiculous amount of money, or in this case, I got this screen from an old window screen. You want to make sure that it's nylon and not metal, so it's not oxidized and risk of contamination, and of course you want to make sure it's sanitary. You don't want to pick it off of an alleyway or your old house that had mold. Pick it up from a, a used retailer and purify it with some bleach or hydrogen peroxide before you use it for spreading your seed. If you don't want to do that, you can use a nut milk bag or any other nylon mesh that you can get your hands on. I find this works the best. It was essentially free from where I got it, and I didn't have to pay what would have been $10 at a health food store. After you have the screen on, I put in some hydrogen peroxide. This is what I have in this little vial here. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, so it has an extra oxygen. And this is going to purify the water. It's going to inhibit pathogenic growth. So microbes such as bacteria as well as viruses, parasites, fungi. You give a little bit of squirt, it doesn't take much. Now you want to be careful though because this is corrosive to the skin. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to hold it over your, your private parts and squirt it in, unless you're brave. I've done this enough times. It's no big deal. Here I'm doing about three squirts because it's it's a food grade hydrogen peroxide, it's only 3%. If you want to get 30% from a garden center, you can do so and you don't have to put 10 squirts here, you can put one. But this is, this is what I had available. Just like that, give it a good shake. Leave this out for 12 hours and then when you're ready, drain it off. 
Okay, so here I have a batch of seed that has been soaking for 12 hours. So I'm ready to pour off this water. You can just pour it off right away. I personally use it to water my plants. Because these seeds do contain a high amount of phytonutrients, like phytic acid, which has a high amount of phosphorus, I use it as fertilizer for my house plants. I dilute it about halfway and I water it as needed for plants in my home. Nice and full. Put the last bit in the sink. And you want to hold on to this screen because there's been a few occasions where it pops off and then all of a sudden your seed ends up on the floor or in the sink. You don't want that to happen. I give a light rinse with water. Making sure that all the seed gets a nice rinse. This gets rid of any residual anti-nutrients. It also helps to purify it so that they're not going to stick together and they're going to sprout better. Now what you see me doing here, this is what you're going to want to do once a day while your sprouts are maturing. That's all it takes. 30 seconds a day and you can produce sprouts.